Well, I'm a specific lab. Here's some great hacks you can use in the bathroom using some PVC pipe. Let's begin. If you live in an apartment or just in a small bathroom, sometimes you only have one towel rack. And that can be a pain if more than one person uses the room. So, I got a simple way to fix that. This is what I like to call the towel multiplier. I just turned one towel rack into three. It's actually very simple. This is all half inch pipe and fittings. At the top up here, I have a corner piece that extends back to an elbow and that just creates a little wedge between the wall and itself. You can always put some of those little felt, little um, material uh, sticker pieces on the back of that to keep that from rubbing into the wall. On the other side, I have the same thing. This runs down, wedges itself in the current towel rack, goes down to the bottom, and it extends out with another with two more elbows, goes across and back in. And by doing that, it wedges itself against the wall, and it doesn't require you to make any holes in the wall. So that way, in case you're in an apartment, or just a place that you can't put any more holes in a wall or you just don't want to have to repair that when it's in the future, you can make a simple towel multiplier. If you're anything like my family, you're always looking for more counter space in the bathroom. Well, I have a little way to fix that. Now, your standard toothbrush holder, well, unfortunately for me, I like the larger toothbrushes and they don't seem to fit in there. Also, my razor seems to always find itself in the way on the counter. If you get some of these little hooks, I believe they're made by 3M. This has to be a clear one to make them in white and I believe other colors too. It has a little hook. You want to take them and you want to attach them to your mirror. I also took the little hook and bent them in a little bit to make it a little bit closer. Then, get you some PVC. Now this happens to be a 3 quarter inch and a 1 inch piece. They're both four inches long with end caps. They're also both the scheduled 20 version, which makes them the skinnier version. So that has a little bit more room inside. You want to take them, you want to drill a hole, and then you want to just hang them right there from your mirror. And that way you can take, in my case, my razor and my large toothbrush. I can put them in there. They still get plenty of air to dry out. And now I can eliminate a little bit more stuff on the counter. Behind the door in a bathroom, there's always some space, usually between the wall and the frame, and here's a great way to utilize that. I've been able to take the frame of the door and use the hinges to make a nice towel holder. Now when you open the door, the towels are nicely hidden, but still you're utilizing that space a great place to hang your towels. Let me show you how I made this. This overall design is actually quite simple. I have three T fittings. This is all one inch PVC and fittings. And these are roughly 18 inches that go out. And I've just measured each of these about 18 inches also, but you'll have to adjust everything to fit to your door. On the end of each of these, I have end caps. Also, I have an end cap out here on the actual bottom that it sits on the ground so that it can you can always put uh, maybe one of those little rubber or felt or something on here so it doesn't dig into the floor but uh, you need this rod here for the support to attach it to the door i have these little eye screws now i've just screwed them in and these need to be about as even as possible in the back so that they line up i would not suggest gluing any of these T fittings. If you want to glue these end caps, that's up to you. But I would not do these because over time there's a chance that these arms might have a, might warp a little bit. And you can always take them out, put them back in at an upward angle. I would also not glue this connection here either because you want to be able to have that chance to be able to pivot as you go. It's always a great idea to have some spare toilet paper around in your bathroom. But if you just take them and you stack them up, there's always that chance of, well, they get in the way, you knock them over, or by chance you get out of the shower or tub and the floor gets wet and now you have soggy toilet paper. Ugh. 
So, I created this little stand. Very simplistic. I used some little T-fittings and end caps. And this main rod that comes up, you can adjust it to whatever height you want so it fits in your bathroom easily. Take your toilet paper, slide over the top. And now you can put this next to your toilet or you can transfer this to any bathroom because it is very simple, real easy, light way to move around. And that's just a great way to store your toilet paper. If you have a bathtub, there's always a chance when somebody's trying to take a shower, the water's going to run down the edge here, and either on your wall or on the floor. As you see here, we removed some of the wallpaper, and you can tell that we had a little bit of mold buildup. I'm not worried about that. I can kill that. But to help prevent that in the future, here's an easy way, using some PVC pipe. Now this is just half inch size, and you can take a small little piece like this, or you can take a size length that will fit roughly the full length of your tub. Uh, once you get that, get you some silicone sealant. It needs to be the mold-free kind, or particularly the kind that's set up for your bathroom to help prevent future any kind of mold or any kind of uh, residue buildup. Get you a bead, and then you'll go down the outside and on the inside of your pipe. Great thing about using this pipe is you can paint it to whatever color you wish. You can match your tub, or you can just leave it white. And that's a great way to use some PVC pipe to help water from running on your floor. If you enjoyed any of these projects, make sure you click the like button and tell us what you think about in the comments. Have fun building!